hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video i hope you're doing very well don't know why my voice went really high pitched then <laughs> but today um i'm here to do a really exciting video for me um so if you couldn't tell by the title i am testing out some colourpop makeup so um i've only ever tried colourpop once before so i've only ever made one order um and that was to purchase i believe yeah i got one of the disney palettes um, and I got a lipstick and did I buy anything else? I can't remember, but I absolutely fell in love with those products. Um, if you don't know much about Colourpop, they're from America basically. So to purchase anything um, and get it sent over to get free delivery, you have to spend over $60. I believe before it used to be 50, now it's 60. Um, and that means you don't have to pay customs or anything, which is fantastic. I wish all companies were like that. Um, but not yet. Um, Colourpop is essentially um, what I would kind of compare it to is like the makeup revolution of America um, because they are coming out with products pretty much every week. Um, it's kind of really low standard prices but really good quality. Um, so I made an order, I think it was like a week, two weeks ago, when did I make this order? On the 9th and today is like the 18th so it's taken like less than 10 days for it to get here which is um, which is fantastic considering we're still in the pandemic um it's the other side of the world essentially like sorry my geography is not very good uh but america is not anywhere close <laughs> um and you know like i said i didn't have to pay customs it turned up yesterday and today i'm here to do a review i didn't get a full face um hence why i'm looking a little bit kind of airbrushed and I'm sweaty as hell. Um, so I got um, I got a blush, I got three eyeshadow palettes and two lip products. So the reason why I did this order was because um, they were doing a 25% off like their whole website. Um, I think there was a few things that were not part of the deal, like a part of that discount, which for me wasn't that big of a deal because there were particular things that I wanted to get. But for me to kind of get to £60 took a long time. Uh, but altogether, I think my order came to like $75, but that's because America, I like to add the tax on afterwards. So here's me thinking, oh, you know, I'll be spending like $60, blah, blah, blah. Uh-uh. They add on like another $15 on tops for the VAT. And I was just like, okay, cool. <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you guys what I got and then I'm going to kind of decide what to use. But I mean, for blush, I got one thing. And it is um, the pressed powder blush, um, yeah, in the shade nine, no, whole nine yards. So I believe this is part of one of their kind of more recent um, kind of collections, even though, like I said, they have a collection like every other week. Um, I really like the packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous, especially like this one as well. Um, but yeah, this is called the, no, the whole nine yards. I can't even talk. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice kind of pink blush. And if you guys know, you know, me by watching this channel, or whatever, I like to look quite pink. Um, I mean, I have a red face anyway because I have rosacea. Um, but I think when it comes to blushes, I like to glow. So I'm actually just going to put this on now because, like I said, I don't have anything else to choose from. So I've got a highlighter on already. Um, it's kind of already gone. But I'm just going to just swish this on. Um, maybe tap off any excess and just put it on my cheeks um, a lot of the stuff when I was ordering had kind of like sold out but I think they were mainly sold out because maybe they they're, um, they just haven't been open to like sell everything and remake everything because I know they make a lot of things in batches um, I mean so far this is a really nice blush I have nothing too bad to say about it um yeah i think it works really well on my skin um i'm just gonna swatch it and see if it comes up yeah not too bad yeah it's very nice i, I think in this set there were a few shades but i think this was like one of the ones that were left which is fine by me because it kind of works really well on my skin tone um and i believe this was i think they're normally about four or five dollars if even that um and again there was 25 percent off so I'm happy. So yeah, this is super nice. Of course, I'll be using it again and again. <laughs> um, I got three palettes, which for me is a bit of a shocker, but 
like I said, it was 25% off and it is a, a, you know, a brand that I've been wanting to purchase again for so long. So I thought this would be the perfect chance. So I managed to get um, the Strawberry Shake palette, which is obviously a red palette. So it's right up my street if you can't really tell. And then two palettes that I got in a collection, which are the Disney ones. I'm so happy that I got this because these individually were sold out, but you could buy it as a set, which is a bit strange but I guess obviously when they're allocated certain numbers to sets and individual ones so I got the uh, Villains Misunderstood palette and then I also got the um, designer uh, collection for the princesses um, it's a princess thing which is what it's called uh, I'm going to open up the strawberry shake and show you guys first I had a quick look just to make sure nothing was broken and because I was so excited anyway um, when I watch people review these palettes they look much bigger in real life but this is actually quite small especially when you look at the box as well but these palettes are only six dollars I mean for the UK I'm pretty sure that's not even four or five pounds um I mean, I'm not really good with conversion but um yeah this is such a gorgeous cute palette um you've got the reds you've got a couple of shimmers and pink so this is like really up my street i don't think i'm going to use it today because i'm just more excited to use the disney ones uh, but i will be using this in the future and this has been in my kind of wish list for a really long time um but yeah you've got shades named for example um <laughs> whipped uh paper straw very fine shake it up there is um i think with colourpop there's a lot of kind of shades that are not safe for eye use I mean that really annoys me because the whole point of a palette is to actually put it on the eyes um I think you know if they've got like glitter based it's very you have to be very careful when taking it off or if there's any fallout because if the glitter goes in your eyes it could scratch your eyes and you could get blind basically so you do have to be very careful um I was tempted to get the mint to be one I think it's that one but I just thought you know what I'm gonna get more use out of reds and if I like the greens I'll just use my makeup obsession one um but yeah this is super cute I didn't swatch it because I'll save it for the re review um and I'm gonna open up the it's a princess thing and what I really like about this palette it's just so cute so this packaging is amazing I'm sorry it is backwards one day I'll film properly uh, but yeah the design on this is amazing when you open it it's got all the signatures by the princesses it's just so cute I love Disney so much if you guys have seen my previous videos talk about Disney films I'm just I love Disney I grew up watching Disney I will forever be a Disney fan when I have kids they'll be showing all the Disney movies etc um, but yeah these have um, just a really select this big selection of just kind of nudes and then you've got a lot of shimmers um, yeah you've got like a couple of random shades so you've got like a purple and then you've got like a really kind of light blue which might be a silver actually um, and then a couple of other ones so it's between this and the misunderstood palette but I'll have a look at that one first and I'll see which one I kind of feel more inspired by even though I'm both I love both of them and yeah this is the villains one so this is a misunderstood palette again this packaging is absolutely gorgeous um as you can see it's got the villains on them basically um and all the names are kind of not named really after the characters but kind of things that the villains do if you know what I mean so you've got uh, no spots which is from 101 Dalmatians and then you've got tragic and then you've got the fates and you've got Diablo and um, Forest of Thorns etc so when you open it this is more of a colourful palette um, I might use this one today because it's got again it's got a purple shade it's got blue but it's got more shimmers in there so I'm really you know just kind of drawn a little bit more today by this one um and you can see it's got a really faded look on there um but yeah i'm really excited to try this palette but what i'm gonna do first is put on um some eye primer let it set and i'll be right back okay so i've just put on my um normal kind of like primer look for the eyes just because you know i like to use a bit of primer now just because it will Kind of emphasize the colors but i think with colourpop 
they're really good quality anyway so let's go in with a blue look today because I feel a lot more kind of I'm more really I'm really drawn to this blue right here and then kind of maybe go for um maybe jetsam maybe here so let's just go for it basically um so like I said I'm starting off with the face which is a really gorgeous dark blue and it is a matte shade so for me I like to start off with matte shades and then kind of turn them into the shimmers afterwards so this is coming out kind of blue green <laughs> which is fine um so I'm just gonna blend that into here and but yeah I'm really like just happy that Colourpop have customs added into their um delivery charge i think if you if your you know your thing comes to less than 60 i still think that the delivery might be around 15 pounds or something like that i can't remember but it is kind of worth just spending the whole 60 pounds in my opinion because if you don't order that much from america anyway um getting or if you get like a couple of friends to order like with you but then to be honest their site has so many products it's easy to just spend 60 pounds even though I was on that website for ages just having a look and I was just really kind of procrastinating I'm that kind of person where I'm like okay I'm gonna start off by ordering a few things and blah 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 and then it got to the point where I was just like do I need any of this? Do I need this? So I close the page. I'm one of these people who adds everything to the cart and then closes it. <laughs> I'm just, I annoy myself when I do it. Um, but then it kind of, you think about it and you're like, okay, I will think about it and then see if I really need to purchase these things. And then I thought, how often do they have like 25% off on pretty much their whole range? Um, and so I just took took it and I just did it <laughs> so that is the fates um it's kind of like a greeny blue um I don't know if it's because of the primer I don't think it should be um but it's a really nice shade anyway um and I'm gonna go in with like I said jetsam which is this one just here so I'm just taking a nice flat brush and I'm going to see how it works with the brush first and if it isn't as well done, I will use my finger. Oh wow, okay, you yeah, know that's um that's pretty nice. <laughs> I don't need to use my finger on it. So this is more of a kind of it is yeah, it's blue, it's got a hint of green in it. It's not as it's not as green as it looks in the pan. Um but still it's very nice. But the thing with, yeah, another thing with Colourpop is that they have so many palettes to choose from. And like I said, they're releasing, they have a new collection every other week. <laughs> so it's quite difficult. And especially if you're only after a specific colour selection or if you want the Disney stuff, then obviously that's a bit more easier. But if you're ordering, from the fir ordering for the first time or you're just not really sure what you want to get, then obviously thinking about it because it's still money that you're spending and you want to make a good decision that's why I'm always watching other kind of influencers um talk about their order and what they got and stuff like that obviously it's difficult if they're being sponsored or stuff like that but if they're not sponsored then I might take it a bit more easier what I'm going to do next is take 101 because it's a nice black matte and I might add a little bit on the corner whoa that's very um <laughs> I only tapped in the slightest amount and it's very pigmented I'm going to try and get as much as I can off because I don't want this to be just a black liner I'm just going to add a little bit in I'm just using one of my Morphe brushes because it's nice got a nice kind of nib to it just adding a little bit just to emphasize the corners Okay, it's a very nice palette. I think I've only seen a couple of reviews where they say that the quality is not that good for like Colourpop in general, but honestly everything is 
really good in their in their brand i really wanted to try some of the highlighters or like the shock shadows but a lot of them were sold out um and i didn't want to just get one for the sake of it so i think next time i won't leave it that long to maybe order something and <laughs> get it um but yeah that is just really nice like that black is gorgeous it's very pigmented and that's what you want in these kind of matte shades you want to just be able to blend it because with shimmers it's a bit more difficult to blend out shimmers but yeah that's super gorgeous um i might swatch some of these others so i think diablo i'm going to just do a quick swatch of this very very nice um let's have a look at pain and panic which is another kind of gold shimmer as well yep very nice um and you can buy these palettes individually um but at the time they were sold out that's why i decided to buy them like as a pack um and it's definitely worth it i don't know how much of a discount there is when it's just normal um but it's worth it if you're going to buy two palettes you might as well get two of those um and then lastly we're going on to the lips and i have two different lip items so i do have one of the um to kind of match this designer set i got the shade beast um i don't even remember what shade this was because i thought i ordered a different one i thought i ordered a snow white one. Oh no this is a liquid lipstick that's why so i initially was going to order um a red lipstick but then i realized i don't really use um kind of bullet lipsticks that much so is it really worth it so i got this one instead which is a really nice kind of dark nude and then i also got one of the lippy sticks because i absolutely love these lippy sticks so much i got the shade infinite best it's a weird name <laughs> infinite best but i remember this being a dark shade yeah this is quite similar to the other shade goldie that i have so that's that so i think today i'm going to use beast because i think something not as kind of out there like with this nude will be much better so let's swatch it first and i really like the packaging because Belle is my favorite princess and beauty and the beast is my favorite disney film oh it smells of candy or sweets basically uh, so yeah this is a nice dark nude this is gorgeous i've not tried this formula before so let's have a look very creamy okay it's less kind of the word pigmented is not i mean it's not less pigmented it's just not as kind of out there as some liquid lipsticks uh, but it's still extremely soft and very nice as well um, this is a closer look of the lip colour if you don't want to see me sweating apologies <laughs> but um, yeah this is like my look when it comes to using some of the Colourpop products and I'm really happy with this it's such a gorgeous um, kind of blue look and then the lips as well and then the blush I'm very happy with so I think I've done some good decisions when I order this stuff I will be using the strawberry shape palette very soon um but yeah this is this is my look guys let me know what you think let me know what your favorite color pop products are um if you've never ordered from there um if people want to talk about maybe what their favorite products are to influence other people not influence as in like suggest <laughs> i'm not saying that you should buy any of this stuff but it's just if you want to treat yourself to some good quality makeup um from america not just the stuff in the uk because i don't think ColourPop is coming to the uk anytime soon um but yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe because i upload and film every time i get a chance to um i hope you're having a good weekend and i will hopefully see you in the next one bye guys